what's going on everybody this is Eric from logicalgamer.com also known as crypto locker today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a GTA 5 5m server very easy stuff it's no uh, no not very technical I guess I should say very very easy um, just follow the tutorial I'll explain everything and then I'll show you working at the end uh, I also have another video on how to install custom add-on cars uh, from GTA5Mods.com uh, but after you get the server working you can go and look at that video if you'd like okay so basically I would highly suggest that you set this up on a virtual box don't run it on your main computer unless you just have it online for you and your friends every once in a while if you actually plan on keeping it online for people to use have building a community don't run it on your main computer that's not very smart uh, get a get buy a cheap computer make it into a server something like that I have my own dedicated server in a closet in my house uh, that I have all my servers on I run them from virtual boxes so then it's very easy to organize and manage anyway enough on that let's go ahead and get into this so let me remote into the computer or sorry my virtual box alright here it is so I already have two other GTA servers running I have my main server for people and then my uh, test server that I run me and my friends will run around on make sure everything's working before I put it to the uh, excuse me the main server alright so what you're gonna do is go ahead and download the server files you can get those from 5m.net I will post the link in the description keep it easy for you guys and then you'll see download client you want to download the server so go ahead and click that and download the server let that finish go ahead and navigate to that so once you're finished you'll have cfx server dot I think it is actually a 7-zip so you're gonna wanna have 7-zip installed if you don't have 7-zip I don't know what you're doing WinRAR is nice but download 7-zip okay uh, go ahead and unzip it And there you go. You got the files. You can delete this or save it somewhere. This is going to be our server. So open that up. And then inside you have all these files. Everything's made for you. It's very easy. They did a great job. Sitmap server is where all of your server editing is going to be placed, uh, taking place and to add resources and different things like that. So let's go ahead and open that up and see what our options are. Okay, so these are the resources that come default. You have your chat, uh, the game mode, uh, some little events, scoreboard, limiting for the amount of players you can have in Archon. Okay, your host name is what it's going to show up as. So when you go in your server browser and it says blah, 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 game, role play, this is how you change that. So th that right there is what you're going to change. Uh, the, for now, we're going to go ahead and just do uh, YouTube test. All right. Lovely is your Archon password by default. Change that. It's important. You don't want people poking around at your shit. Uh, Archon is to remote access the command terminal. So if you have a web uh, app or a SQL database that needs to do something, that's how it's going to take place. Script hook. Uh, you want to not disable the script hook so people can use the... Uh, uh, Lambda trainer, or whatever they call it. This is so people can use trainers in your lobby. If it's a role play, yes, you're gonna want to keep that disabled so people aren't running around God mode and all that stuff. But keep that, okay? Uh, disable auth is for people if you want them to have to use Steam. So you, they have to be signed into Steam. This is good. I highly suggest you have this because then people can't run around with fake names, uh, impersonate admins, impersonate other users. It's an easy way uh, to make sure that people that are joining your server aren't doing stupid stuff they should be signed into steam in my opinion okay the rest of the stuff isn't very important um, and then your port so for testing purposes I'm just gonna make this uh, shit I got so many servers let's just do three zero one two five okay three zero one two five okay so now what you're gonna wanna do is uh, go to your router. I've seen a lot of people on different comments of different videos on how to set this up. They're trying to 
set this up without port forwarding. Unfortunately, you're just you're gonna have to port forward. There's not really any other way to do it. There's uh, Hitachi and some other stuff, but for best connectivity, it, you're gonna need to do a port forward. And if you can't get into your router, then I I don't think you should be setting up servers behind it. it just doesn't make sense. Okay, so go ahead and log into your router. Oh shit. Alright, so I use OpenWRT on a router, uh, on a Linksys WRT 1900, so it might look a lot different than what you guys are used to, but same stuff. Go to your port forward uh, area. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, set up a new port forward. And that port oh, was... Three zero one two five. Okay. Three zero one two five. This is gonna be. Where's this virtual box? Two zero six, I believe. Two zero six. All right. Make sure you got that. Done. 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 And add it. All right. That part's done. Now let's add, save, and apply. Boom, port forwarding is finished. All right. Well, as easy as that seems, maybe to some, that's that's it. You're done. So let's go ahead and launch this. The run bat. Usually most game servers require you to make your own, but they give it to you. Like I said, they're making it easy. This is what runs the server. That's it. Look, start. Boom. As long as it's in your root, it's going to start it. You can click that too, but if you want to change things up, you just, just use bad. Alright. Now what you're going to get is... Oh, what's going on here? Let me close these other servers. They're interfering. Hope nobody was playing. Alright, allow access. You want it to be able to get through your firewall. Okay. Now, and since this comes default with no resources, obviously it started up very fast. So here it goes. Okay, and the port didn't save. Do it again. That's probably why I was using the default port. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Okay, there you go. The port changed. Done. Ten resources loaded, and it is connected. So... Let's go ahead and go to 5M and see, just to make sure it works. Nope, I don't want to use Windows Creators Update, fuck off. Hey guys, if you're liking the video, comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever you got to do. You can dislike it, hey man, it don't really matter to me, I'm posting these videos to help people. You got questions, send them over. Uh, I can help you with a variety of services. Visit the website and see the servers I have online. If you have questions regarding those, let me know. Alright, let's see if it pops up. There it is. YouTube test. Let's go ahead and connect. Oh, I forgot about this ugly thing right here. So this is the default loading screen for the game. It is terrible. I highly suggest you go on 5M's forums and find yourself a uh, loading screen uh, template. It's very easy. It's all HTML stuff. It's plain text. You can open it and you can edit the things how you want and save it uh, and then use it on your server. It looks so much better than this. I can make videos on that too. I'm just getting all types of ideas. Should load in shortly. It's not very many resources. There it is, setting up, initializing, boom, and there it is. You have a fully for <laughs> a fully functioning GTA 5M server. Very easy. Now, remember, I disabled that script or, or enabled script hook. So there you go. I have my my mod menu. If you hadn't have changed that, you mod menu wouldn't work. Spawn yourself a car. See, super super easy, guys. Uh, 
I'll make more videos on how to add resources and customize the server a little bit just to make it uh, more fun for you and your players. Like I said, I've added a video on, uh, I've already created a video on how to add add-on cars so that you can get some real-life custom cars into your server, uh, so you can play um, with them. I, that's what I enjoy doing, just playing with cars. I don't, I'm not really into the whole role-play thing. Um, but yeah, like I said, comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions on the video or can't get something to work, message me uh, or email me at support. Uh, at log support at logicalgamer.com or admin at logicalgamer.com uh, and I'll respond and help you with any questions you guys may have. Alright? Thanks. Y'all have a good one.